this is the overview of the course electromagnetics. And my name is Yongju Chung at School of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. I'm going to give a brief introduction to the course and I'll show you some examples. Uh, so the course title is Electromagnetics uh, with the course number IC5101. And uh, these are the topics that will be covered in the course. Uh, we are start, going to start with the preliminary mathematics and then we go on to electrostatics and the dielectrics, electric current and the magnetism, electromagnetic induction and the magnetic energy. And then slowly bearing currents, uh, plasmas and the superconductors. And then we'll discuss uh, Maxwell's equations and the electromagnetic waves, dispersion and the dispersible media, radiation and electrodynamics. And then finally, the special theory of uh, relativity. We are going to use uh, this textbook by Rice, Milford, and Christie, uh, the foundations of electromagnetic theory. And then as a reference, uh, we'll use uh, Jackson classical electrodynamics. The course homepage is given here, and I'm going to post announcements, lecture notes, and homeworks, uh, etc., on this uh, homepage. Uh, this homepage is accessible within the GIST campus only. Uh, if you have any trouble accessing this homepage, uh, you can send me an email to uh, this address. Uh, these are the things that you need to attend the course. The textbook, as I mentioned, uh, is given here. And you also need a computer with the Mathematica and the symbolic computing package installed. Uh, we are going, I'm going to uh, make all the course notes uh, using uh, this, this software, Mathematica and uh, the symbolic computing package and they will be posted on the course homepage for downloading before the lectures. Uh, for Mathematica, uh, the official site license uh, version 13.0 is available, and you need a GIST email address uh, with uh, GIST ACKR uh, or uh, gm.gist ACKR to use the site license. For installation, you can go to the Zeus system, then uh, go to software download and you will see Mathematica. Uh, download the manual file and uh, uh, you can follow the instructions for the installation. For the symbolic computing package, uh, the package will be provided to the students uh, free of charge. I'm going to show you some examples of the topics that will be discussed in, uh, in the course. Uh, first, it is, uh, this is about the point of charge and the conducting sphere. So we have a point of charge here, um, and using the image method, you can calculate the amount of the point, the image charge, Q prime, and the distance B from the center of the sphere. Then you can calculate the electric potential and the electric field uh, at uh, some point uh, P given here. The potential is using the Coulomb's law. Uh, you can, uh, this is the, the potential at, at the point P. Then you can uh, derive the formula for the potential given here in terms of uh, R and uh, the distance r from the center and the angle theta uh, with respect to, uh, to this axis. Or in Cartesian coordinates, you can also show uh, the potential is given by this expression. And you can see that uh, this, uh, uh, this is the, the coding for derivation of this formula. Uh, this is done in Mathematica and uh, uh, all of the package functions of the symbolic computing package starts with uh, this uh, prefix 
uh, SSC. Okay, using uh, uh, these formulas, you can uh, plot the potential and the electric field and the magnitude. So here we have a point of charge here, and uh, this uh, blue dot is the image charge. And uh, this is the distance okay, here, uh, this is equal to three. And then if you change it, uh, for example, uh, if you put it closer to the sphere, uh, you can show, you can see that uh, the shape of the potential changes. And also uh, the, you can see the distribution of the electric field. Well, if you, if you put it uh, uh, farther away from the sphere, uh, then uh, this is the shape of the potential and the electric field. Well, if you put it uh, very close to the sphere, uh, then uh, it looks like this. Okay, we have a point of, uh, point of charge here, and image charge is very close uh, to the to the point of charge, and uh, this is the uh, the distribution of the electric field. The next example is about electric circuit. Uh, so we have here uh, we have RAC circuit, and uh, the source. The switch is suddenly closed uh, to a constant voltage V. The equation after the switch is closed is given by using the Kirchhoff's law. Uh, we can uh, derive this formula. So V is the, the voltage, the DC voltage here, and uh, R is the resistance, the L is the inductance, and the C is the, uh, the capacitance. And I is the, uh, the potential. But to solve uh, this uh, integral differential equation, you can use this function, SC intersolve, which is a package function with the initial condition I uh, zero at the time t equal to zero uh, is equal to zero. Well, for the underdamped case, when R is uh, small, uh, such that R square is, uh, uh, less than the 4L over C, uh, then we have oscillation. So IT uh, using uh, this function into solve, uh, you can solve uh, this integral differential equation and uh, this is the solution. And omega N, uh, this is the, uh, the resonance frequency, uh, which is uh, slightly uh, less than one over uh, the LC resonance. Uh, frequency. Well, when R is large, um, then uh, this is an overdamped case. And then omega n becomes immensely and the solution is exponential. And the solution is, you can see uh, we have uh, two independent solutions. Uh, and that they can be combined to give uh, hyperbolic sign uh, to match the initial condition at the t equals to zero. Uh, when R square is exactly equal to 4L over C, then uh, this is a critically damped case. Uh, and the result is given here. So um, in summary, the result is for these uh, three different cases, uh, we have a sine or a hyperbolic sine or um, a linearly increasing uh, function. <clears throat> And the plots of IT and the QT over C, uh, this is the, the potential that is applied to the capacitance. So here, when R is small, then you can see we have a damped oscillation. And here, uh, this is the, uh, the voltage over the capacitance. And then you have also oscillation. When R is increased, then you can see uh, the damping time is uh, reduced. And also uh, you can see the voltage here. Uh, for the critically damped case, uh, then um, it, is, it directly approaches the, uh, the saturation. Uh, well, this is the overdamped case. Okay, and here, uh, this is also overdamped case. 
Uh, using the Maxwell's equations, we can derive um, the solution for the wave of propagation in a dispersible medium. Well, I skip all the details. Um, and the electric field of the pulse is given by uh, this formula. So delta K is the bandwidth. Uh, this is the group velocity. And the beta is, uh, <coughs> uh, this is the, the, for the uh, dispersion. And uh, this is a negative for normal dispersion and the positive for the anomalous uh, dispersion. So um, when delta K is large, then you can see uh, the propagation. And you can see that uh, well, th 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 this part is a short wavelengths and uh, this is the long wavelengths. So this is the positive and uh, this is the anomalous dispersion case. When beta is negative, uh, then here you can see the long wavelengths go the faster than uh, the short wavelengths. But these are the plots of uh, the laser modes, uh, the plots of a TEM mode, uh, MN uh, laser mode. So, so this is a TEM 00 and 1001, uh, etc. And finally, uh, this is the uh, uh, reflection and the refraction at the boundary between two dielectric media. So we have uh, uh, dielectric media of uh, reflective index N1 and the reflective index N2. So skipping all the details, uh, you can, uh, <coughs> this, uh, these plots show the electromagnetic energy density U uh, and uh, the pointing vector S. So this shows the direction of the power propagation. So again, uh, theta one is the angle, uh, angle of uh, this instant ray uh, with respect to, uh, to this axis. Okay, so this is, this is the theta one. For the, uh, for N2 smaller than N1, uh, we can have a, uh, the critical damping. So here, uh, let's see, go to uh, N equals to omega equals two. So uh, this is the case for the critically damped case. And the angle is 41.81 uh, degrees. Well, uh, when theta one is uh, larger than uh, the critical angle, for example, uh, at uh, 45 degrees. Oh, no, I'm sorry, uh, I have to change. So locate uh, 45. Then uh, you can see that uh, this is a, uh, this is also, it is a, uh, is a completely reflective. So you can see uh, reflectivity, uh, reflectance is one and the t equals zero, which means that there is no transmission. And uh, the power is uh, in, uh, in this direction. Okay. And when uh, theta one is um, smaller than the critical angle, uh, for example, uh, let's say uh, 40 degrees, then you can see we have a transmission. Okay, so this is the instant wave, and uh, this is the reflected wave, and uh, this is the transmitted wave. Okay, uh, thank you for the attention, and uh, I hope to see you at the class.